friend of the show, Ontarian, Torontonian, Canadian, <laughs> and here Agrarian. of all, all of the great things, but here to tell us about the brand new movie, a coming of age story, Drink Water. Our friend Eric McCormick. Hey, welcome hey. back to the room. Nice to be here, you guys. Yeah, it's been a while. I got, you know, as Marilyn knows, I got, I got my start at Chum. I was 15 years old. Tell us about that start. Yeah, it was. I was uh, an apprentice. I was uh, an assistant handing the the, the eight track tapes to the engineer. <laughs> the Did you just say eight track? I, they were virtually like eight tracks. Right? Yeah, eight that's tracks. right. They yeah, were, like they were, they were, they were um, you know, those carts, right? Like carts, cart, yeah. yeah, carts for that's commercial. That's incredible. Yeah, look at like Steve Anthony was the DJ. Yes, the drive time. I mean, yes, was, Steve. All right. Incredible. Oh, that's great. Well, welcome back. It's a different Thank building, you. but you still feel uh, comfortable. I in still a feel thing. very much the chum of it all. Welcome back into a control room to talk about drink water let's talk about this movie i'm very excited about this because i often when i'm on your show or any show i'm talking yeah. about television this is a rare thing where it's an actual feature film a little one that we made during covid in penticton british columbia it might be the most canadian film you've ever seen <laughs> sort of a coming of age story between sort of a father and son when a, when a kid is stuck in his father's lousy shadow uh, I play the lousy father. Um, and we're, we are the Drinkwaters, Hank and Mike Drinkwater. It's a really sweet movie, um, all Canadian. The the music throughout it is from the 80s, very sort of Doug and the Slug, oh Lover my God. Boy and Trooper. Too and, bad that you... Yeah, they get that kind of... That, oh exactly, God, exactly. That's it just has a great feel to it. And we have, we have one... The audience fave in, in Calgary, in Whistler, two places in the States. So... People like it, and it's actually opening at Scotiabank Theater down uh, the, the Cineplex downtown tonight. That's awesome. I mean, even uh, in the trailer, it looks. I mean, so relatable. You see the kid, this angsty kid yeah. in his room, their messy room. Wonderful young like, actor named Daniel Doheny from yeah. out, out uh, west, and he's my my son saw the movie and said, "God, he's more like your son than I am." <laughs> <laughs> the same. He's he's got this great Jim Carrey energy. He's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you see that early. Yeah. Oh, he's he's really good. Okay, that's one to watch. Well, then. Yeah. Let's get caught up. How was COVID? How was lockdown? Because you and I talked a couple times. Yeah. Uh, but how how was that for you? Well, I I think for a lot of people it, there was a lot of upside to it. For me, there was the upside of having some more time with my kid who was just finishing high school, and I'm sure it was crappy for him, but <laughs> we liked having him around yeah. and being able to help him make college choices and all that stuff. And uh, it was nice to take a break. And and but it, but it was also confusing. There were moments where I you know I'm still wearing my robe at noon, going maybe I'm retired. <laughs> maybe this is all I want out of what life. day is this? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Will and Grace and, mm. you know, and the loss of somebody that was really yeah. special to the show, Leslie Jordan. Leslie Jordan yeah. um, was just one of those, he, this incredible id, this imp. He was, he, there was never a day when he was on set that wasn't fun and hilarious. And uh, it's just, he was only 67. I know. It's just a, a sad, sad loss of a great guy. So I'm glad that you did the reunion show when you did. And yeah. now, after this great movie... What's coming up next for you, Eric? Uh, there's a few things in the works. I did a show here in Toronto called Slasher, which I'm very excited about. It comes out in April. Um, and an episode, a, a, a season of Departure. Which I yes. Think, yes, yeah. uh, that's coming out. And also, um, Sean Hayes and I are, are thinking of putting together a, uh, a podcast. That, uh, oh my! God. What's this going to be about? That's okay. going to be great. All right. it could be. Uh, uh, <laughs> it could be one where we sit around and watch episodes of Will and Grace. And <laughs> okay, it might, it might be. Well, that's great. So. Great to have you back home. Don't be a stranger. So, okay. Okay, and welcome home to Chum. Thank you. Welcome back home where it all started. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to sweep the floors. Okay. <laughs> okay. You've, you've graduated from there, sir. Eric McCormack, Drink Water, Chum yeah. 1045 with Marilyn Dennis and Jamar.